welcome back. My name is Kayla from the YouTube channel Panko Bunny, and today we're making some Granny Slug chocolate pinatas. So these are so cool. They are pinatas that are actually made out of chocolate, and they're filled with gummies that look like the little goodies that you see in the game. So we have some purple mushrooms, some red strawberries, some blue water droplets, some yellow flowers, and some green leaves. This is such a cool treat and perfect for a birthday party. So let's get started. So you're going to need some black, purple, pink, and white candy melts, and some pretzel sticks. You'll also need some yellow flower candies, some strawberry gummies, some purple mushroom gummies, blue gummies, and green leaf gummies. You'll also need a small silicone mold, a couple sheets of parchment paper, an egg-shaped chocolate mold, and some ribbon. So first, you want to melt the black, purple, and pink candy melts in microwave-safe bowls for 30 seconds or until they're melted. Spread the black candy melts onto the insides of an egg-shaped chocolate mold. Then transfer the mold to the freezer until the candy melts have set for about 20 minutes. Unmold the eggs and repeat until you have six halves. Then tie the ends of three ribbons into knots and place them in a small silicone mold. Pour some extra black candy melts on top and fully submerge the tied ends of the ribbons. Transfer the silicone mold to the freezer until the candy melts have set for about 10 minutes. Fill half the eggs with the candies and the ribbons, making sure the candy melt end is inside the eggs and the ribbon is extending out of the top of the eggs. Spread some extra black candy melts onto the edges of the filled eggs and place an empty egg half on top. Transfer the eggs to the freezer until the candy melts have set for about 10 minutes. Then line three small ramekins with plastic wrap and set the eggs on top of the ramekins. Place the white candy melts onto a tray lined with parchment paper and use some black candy melts to draw the eyelids, eyelashes, and pupils. Then transfer the tray to the freezer until the candy melts have set for about 15 minutes. Then just attach the eyes to the top of the eggs with some extra candy melts. Cut a rectangle out of parchment paper long enough to wrap around the body of the egg and wide enough to cover the lower half of the egg. Spread some purple candy melts over the entire rectangle, then just wrap that around the egg, sticking it to the egg. Then transfer this to the fridge until the candy melts have set for about 20 minutes. Then you want to gently peel the parchment paper off the chocolate to reveal Granny Slug's purple skirt. Cut a triangle from parchment paper, large enough to create a scarf, then spread the pink candy melts over the entire triangle and then wrap this around the top half of the egg. Return the eggs to the fridge until the candy melts have set for about 10 minutes. Then gently peel off the parchment paper. Attach the pretzel stick canes with some extra candy melts and then pop these back into the fridge for 10 minutes until the candy melts have set. Then just tie the ends of the strings to a pole or a hanger and then smash them to reveal the candies inside and you are done! So thank you all so much for watching. If you'd like to see some more videos, make sure to subscribe to the Best Fiends YouTube channel, which is the YouTube channel you are watching right now. And if you have any requests, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And if you'd like to see some other cooking recipes, make sure to head on over to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash pankobunny, and I will see you over there. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye!